Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode eight of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Happy to have you here. It's going to be a shorter one today. Uh, we've got lots of things going on as far as, as experimenting with new morph tests. We have this week by far the, the largest uh, run we've done where the vast majority of the samples are testing out new mutation tests. So figuring out if we can add some more tests for y'all for ball python morphs. And uh, as long as things go well, I'll, uh, unfortunately, we barely missed. We won't find out today. So those of you that uh, ha that are waiting on results um, that have sent in sheds over the last couple of weeks, the next batch of results will come out probably on Wednesday or Thursday, hopefully at the latest. And uh, But yeah, that's also when we'll get all of the information about um, the, the new tests that we're, we, we are experimenting with to see if they'll work. So so we're very excited about that. It's a lot of fun and pins and needles these next couple of days waiting for that to come back. Um, but uh, yeah, so it'll be a little shorter today. We're gonna talk some about some of the results some, some uh, customers have gotten and then some YouTube videos, cool YouTube videos other YouTubers have done this last week that are or the last couple of weeks that we really appreciate and talk about the, the shed testing and. So with that, welcome, Kayla. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. Good to be here. Good. Um, I'm excited to uh, talk about these results that we've gotten in. Uh, these are, it's the stuff that you just like, that you you really wait for in genetic testing. Like this is what it's this is what it's about. So uh, let's let's get into it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So uh, first off, I think this is when we were contacted by Gorgon Morphs. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool story. So this specific animal, uh, he thought was, well, the, the breeder thought was a orange dream banana ivory that was 50% poshet for pied. And then the, the female, I believe, was a poshet hypo. So this specific animal was like a 25% chance of being hypo, het hypo. Really so slim chances. Long, yeah, yeah, kind of a long shot, but. Mm -hmm. It'd be worth looking and seeing. Um, so the pairing was an orange dream, yellow belly, banana, het pied, possible hypo to a super stripe. And mm -hmm. so the animal did end up getting uh, ivory. So it did get yellow belly from both parents. And so the, the test came in and we ran the test and uh, pretty cool results. We did get a positive for het pied and for het hypo. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. And that's a, I think that's, that's what breeders call a genetic powerhouse right there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that itself is pretty cool and, mm -hmm. and uh, nice that on that 25% chance that he hit, but above all of that, <laughs> so did a, a whole panel, it was positive for head albino, which he, he reached out to the breeders city balls. And yeah. Matt, so he, he reached out to City Balls and, and asked him that it's possible that the Super Stripe, he, well, he, he wonders the Super Stripe that came from Ozzy Boyd's so that potentially maybe she was a, a het, um, het albino that he didn't know about and maybe Ozzy didn't even know about. But yeah, but yeah it's cool. So it ended up being a triple het, tri het for pied, het for hypo, and het for albino and didn't even know it. <laughs> Love to see that. That's awesome. Good for good for Gorgon Morphs. And hey, that's uh, that's cool. Uh, sounds like there might be some some tests sent in from uh, City Balls, maybe from yeah. uh, from the looks of that. <laughs> see where that head came from. Oh yeah, definitely could be. That's a that's definitely an interesting result. Yeah. So the next one, um, this was an animal produced by Bob's Balls, uh, which I love their logo. That's why we wanted to show that off. <laughs> for any DBZ fans. Um, and uh, take it away, Ben. So this is Jeannie Abbott's animal. And uh, so the pairing was an Enchi Leopard Firefly Orange Dream Pied 
to an inchy fire pinstripe yellow belly OD het pied. <laughs> so had a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and we've talked about before, we ended up proving out something else that, that Bob had produced as being het for, for pied that he didn't need. He, he, Bob knew that his male was a posset pied, but he hadn't proved it yet. And so anyway, mm -hmm. Um, the person that got the animal had no idea. Um, and th so here, once again, Bob's delivering, do a little advertising for Bob. You buy from Bob, maybe you get some extra things. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, with this one, so the, the male was, uh, expected to be an inchy leopard firefly orange dream pied. So there's no yellow belly there, uh, in the male in, in what, was expected that the male was, which there's so many genes there, it's hard to know for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the female was inchy fire pin yellow belly OD het pied. So you do have fire on both sides. And so this animal was sold as a super fire or a black eyed leucistic. And then obviously POS for several things. Um, so the, the cool thing with our testing, uh, this one was possible het pied since the one adult, one, uh, parent was a, a het pied. Well, let's see. No, no. This one was for sure a het pied because the male was a pied. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so the question was, since it's an all white snake, is it a het pied or is it a pied? And so the result ended up showing that it was indeed a pied. So with it being an, an all white snake, there's a little bit of a question there. And then uh, beyond that, we were able to show that Bob's male uh, pied combo, it actually has yellow belly also because this animal is also a super yellow belly or ivory. So this is a super fire, super yellow belly pied. And so it's a triple homozygous. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what a monster in a good way. That's fantastic yeah. and just cute as can be. Well, very cool. So those are our, those are some cool test results that we wanted to share with you guys. Um, let's see, next we got, uh, I think some YouTube shout outs. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's see one of those. Okay. Uh, first up is actually one from Canova. We just have a, a short clip from a very short clip from these. It's summer from Canova and this is shed testing for ball Python morphs explained. There. So this is a, a great uh, short, it's short, sweet, to the point video that Summer did uh, from mm -hmm. Canova. And so any of you that have questions, maybe it's the first time that you're thinking about doing some shed testing. Uh, they did an excellent job. They do, you know, beautiful videos. Uh, they're much better with the, the light and sound and all that than I am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. So, yeah, it's a beautiful video. Very well done. Um, so mm -hmm. you can check that out. Uh, they did an awesome job. Thanks so much for for doing that. It's a great uh, explanation. Like I said, sweet, simple, to the point uh, for kind of the first time wanting to do some shed testing. Yeah. Uh, and like they go through and like they literally show you like, you know, from getting the shed out of the bin to writing the letter, sending it and how to go through the whole process on clutch if you're into ball pythons but it's basically the same thing on morph market as well so it's it's explains everything um anybody who has questions for it there that's the way to do it um yeah. the next one we have is actually from always evolving pythons or miguel at always evolving pythons we've got a great clip from him here too yes i love this thank you yeah. so much miguel this is a a great video and made us very happy to see. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Genetic testing, I've always had faith in you. I love you to, I mean, holy hell, this snake just went from being maybe, I don't know, $5,000 to 10 to $15,000, but holy hell, male or female, this thing's staying here. Look at this. Orange dream, pied, possible leopard, um, double head, sunset clown. Wow. Big study. There you go. Heard it that time, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> that time. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a, a male that he had, had tested that was a Posset pied and this pied in this video just, just proved uh, through breeding that the shed test was correct. And so he had 
put that male on more het pie. He talks more in more detail in the video, which is also a very well done video. So check mm -hmm. it out. I'll see pretty exciting clutch and him talking more about it. But, but yeah, he, uh, you know, it's awesome to see. And he had made breeding decisions based on that, that test result. He had put her or put that male on more het pied females, pied and het pied females than he would have otherwise. Mm -hmm. So now that he actually sees it, you can see that the test was correct. Uh, pretty exciting, pretty fun. All right. Yeah, no, that was that was really cool. And lo love the live reaction from him too. That was fun. So, yes. All right. So uh, that was short and sweet today. Do uh, you have any final thoughts on it or uh, any anything else you want to add in, Ben? Nothing else. I'll just say uh, if we get lucky this week, if we get really lucky, we could have five more tests added. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's possible. You didn't even tell me that part. That's. I experimented with five new tests. So those of you who stayed to the end of this video, you know, we've got a chance at five. Now, will we get all five? I sure hope so. But, you know, if we can get a couple more, that would be awesome. And, and yeah. I'll be a step closer, but we get super lucky then maybe we'll have to do a live and and uh reveal all five but uh both all desert right. and genetic stripe as you all know that have been following those two are on this and there's three more that we haven't really talked at all about so oh sweet uh, we've been getting yeah, crossing everything i got man <laughs> all right well let's let's call that a wrap and uh remember to um like comment subscribe uh hit the little bell doobly doo thing uh, leave us a comment uh, if you like the short form videos, long form videos, and uh, let us know what you let us know which morphs you think it's are going to be next. So yeah, yeah, give it a yeah. guess. Give it a guess. All right, uh, thanks, guys. See you next week, and or maybe this week if we get the results. So we'll see. Good be. Yeah. Yep, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And outro in three, two, one.